The security industry is, is really helping to perpetuate a false sense of security, which is a part of the reason why I believe that a lot of people are suffering breaches. So when a company uses industry standard or commercial software to test their security, monitor their security, or whatever it may be, they are essentially only looking for things that they know exist, and they're not looking for the things that only a genuine hacker could find or know how to find. Vulnerability scanning software is simply a tool that's designed to look for known vulnerabilities within an environment so that you can then find those vulnerabilities, patch them, and presumably be in good shape. The problem with the vulnerability scanner is it's limited by nature, but at the same time, many script kids are using them uh, as the backbone of their penetration testing services. These tools are the de facto standard for the commercial industry. They're not the de facto standard for the black hats, the people that are really breaching networks, or the vulnerability researchers, the guys that are breaching Equifax, Target, Sony, Hannaford, Home Depot, et cetera, et cetera. That's where there's a problem with the industry standard approach. In order to protect your data, your client's data uh, from breach, you really do have to think like a hacker to beat a hacker, where you reverse engineer the way that they are breaching uh, organizations that we see in the news every day versus just taking the industry standard approach, which is to, you know, again, run the scans, run the vulnerability scanners, get a passing report, I'm compliant, go on my way and feel really good about it. The reason that's bad when it comes to penetration testing is that those scans only know to look for what is known. They don't know how to find things that don't exist in their checklist. Let's say we're penetration testing a home versus a network, your house. I want to know that uh, a thief or a threat cannot get in, and I want a penetration test done on my home. I would have them come and test every window, every door, every opening, and I want to know which doors they got in, which windows they got through, and which ones they didn't. And then the ones that they did, I'd want to go back and secure them with their advice, and then have them come back and redo the test. And if they can't get back in, then and only then do I want a passing bill of health. The main reason why uh, people trust most security vendors is because they themselves are not security experts. The security vendor generally speaks, uses a lot of language and lingo and makes promises. The people who are hearing this say, well, this is exactly what I want to hear. They don't have the technical expertise to vet and verify what it is that they're being told. There's a big separation between what is being advertised, marketed, and what is actually being delivered. They're, they're telling their customers they're gonna protect them in a certain way and they're failing. What technologies are these businesses using that were supposed to have prevented the breach that didn't prevent the breach? I think a lot of the breaches that are happening today have a lot to do with the marketing fluff that exists in the industry and the snake oil that exists in the industry. Now, it's not to say that there isn't talent in the industry. But the services that are being delivered, especially when it comes down to things like penetration testing, they're not being driven by those experts. They're being driven by the bottom line. They're being driven by whatever will make the company the most money with the least spend. And that's just not what security is all about.